Hello, this is Rocket from Reckless Blenders, and this is Musing in Rocket Cellar. Tonight, I'm going to take a quick tour of tasting. So I just opened up a couple of different wines. I opened up one called the Cote de Carmichael. This is from JT's Front Lawn. We uh, blend this up and uh, make it available to, uh, uh, to consume for the Reckless Blenders. And then we have a 2011 Mouvedre from our Lumis Vista location. And I'm just opening these up because I was going through the back and I thought, well, let's figure out what we're going to have for dinner and then we'll uh, cork the other one or, or divide it out and have it another night. But then I thought, hey, um, let's talk a little bit about tasting because tasting has this whole thing around it. And really, there's just a couple of rules or just one rule in my mind around tastings. And, and in general, there's not a lot of rules when it comes to wine. And I'll talk about that another time. But in this case, um, the, the really the, the prime one is the three sip rule. And the three sip rule goes is very simple. It's the never judge a wine on the first sip, right? You've got all this stuff in your mouth that is there, whether it's toothpaste or coffee or something you just ate or whatever. Um, and it, it's just influenced by, you know, the wine is influenced by all that taste. The second sip is around, it just helps clear the palate for the third sip. And the third sip is really the essence of the wine uh, and when you can determine if you like it. And I always say, hey, if you like the wine on the first sip, yay you, you get two more sips. But in this case, you know, you want to take some wine and um, I'm going to pour a little bit here and, uh, mm, you know, first sip, second sip, third sip. I'm not going to subject you to me taking three sips of wine. Man, I've already taken a few of this and I've judged it to be pretty freaking fantastic. The 2011 got a little age on it. It's uh, got some rich flavors, but it's definitely ready to drink now and uh, shouldn't be holding it on much longer. Nine years, Mouvedre. Yeah, about that time. I'll uh, cork up the, the Cote de Carmichael and put it aside. And hey, uh, just a quick update on the uh, container, you know, the, how to divide up your wine at the end of the evening or if you don't want to drink it all. I found these St. George Gin I got these for my birthday this year and they're about 200 milliliters and perfect and a great mouth, easy to clean, beautiful cork. Um, so I've been using those since the last time I recorded uh, to use them and find it to be really nice. It's uh, just about a glass, a little bit more than a glass of, uh, of wine. So anyway, the other thing to think about coming back to tastings, one thing that uh, another trick that we use is if you're having trouble smelling the wine, if you're having trouble understanding what the nose is, you know, put your hand on top of the glass and swirl, right? And then you stick your nose in there and you're going to get the essence of the the nose coming out of that because it's trapped some of those, the, the, the scent in there. And you get a good, nice burst of what it smells like, you know, and every, not everybody, but a lot of people know, you know, what you do is you, you swirl first and you sniff and then you sip and a very similar, uh, process. If you do wine and chocolate and you, you know, you sip, nibble, sip, right? Uh, you, you want to sip to understand what the wine is first, you nibble on the chocolate, uh, and then you have a sip of wine so you understand what the combination's like. Um, so that's that's been my always my recommendation with wine and chocolate. But in the case of the three sip rule, just to recap, don't eat in between the sips. So if you're tasting and you're trying to understand if you like a wine or not, definitely don't eat in between those three sips. Um, also, look, uh, if you take the first sip and you're like, Ugh, this is bad, this has got vinegar or it tastes like... Uh, nail polish remover or something like that, then don't take two more sips. If you know right away, don't, don't worry about it. It's not a, it's not a big deal. Anyway, this is Rocket and this is Musing in Rocket Cellars. Have a good one.